start with just your name and your title, please. Yes, sure. My name is Desiree Colomé. I'm head of the Consular Protection Department and Legal Affairs at the Consulate of Mexico in Kansas City. And I'm going to ask you to spell your first and last name for yes, me, please. Yes, Desiree. That's D E S I R D O E Colomé, C O L O M E. Okay. Um, you, you heard the uh, the officer just speak. What what would your take away from these meetings and why is it important for you and your community? Well, uh, at the Mexican Consulate, we are uh, honored and proud uh, to have a really good relation with the Kansas City Police Department. It's been an institutional relation. Uh, there's been a change of the Chief of Police, there's been a change of the Consul General, and we're still working together. And this is something that it's beneficial for both of us. And when uh, they reach out to us uh, asking, like, we have this idea, we want to approach uh, Hispanic leaders. Can you help us with that? Uh, we were, of course, we will do it. Uh, the first uh, concern was maybe having the invitation coming from the consulate, uh, which is someone they already knew. We work together with these community leaders, having a more friendly space that probably coming to the police department. So that's why they approached us. And we were glad to, to accept the invitation to contact uh, the, the community leaders, representatives for from his, Hispanic organizations that work on a daily basis with the Hispanic community and they already know their concerns. So that, that was the basis of uh, having the consulate. We were just the facilitators. We, we just provided uh, the space. Uh, we obviously serve uh, primarily the Mexican community, but we're also involved with the needs and challenges faced by the Hispanic community. And all these organizations and leaders we work with, well, they have a broader base. They work with the entire speaking Spanish-speaking population. So uh, we were glad to, to help to uh, reach, out, reach out to these people. And as Officer Cooley said, we had a pretty well turned, pretty good turnout, uh, more than uh, 20 people roughly being there both days. They, they actually came back the second day, which is always a, a good thing. So it was a, a really good uh, initiative and, and we're looking forward to be able to keep collaborating with them uh, with a the follow up. What are some of the other areas that you would like to speak more with the police department and collaborate with them. What are some of the areas that you would like to touch in or important? Well, part of, part of our job at the, at the consulate and specifically the consular protection department, which is the one I, I had, is uh, facilitating uh, members of the Mexican community whenever they are victims of a crime or uh, if they have any question, just uh, to let them know first that they can come to the police department. We, we have established this dialogue with them and, and we know they are willing to serve them and provide the services and being your victim regardless of your origin or the language you speak and, and this is something we are really honored to see the police department uh, spreading as a message and, and having Chief Smith uh, also uh, very really uh, uh, insistent in this message so that's our first interaction provide assistance let them know like okay you were a victim of a crime first thing you need to do is you need to go to the police department and file a report you were a victim of domestic violence, uh, go there and file a report, get their support, probably get a, a, a restriction order from your aggressor. Uh, and other than that, we just have a really good interaction and, and communication uh, whenever there is an, an accident in which there's a, a Mexican national involved. They, they know our IDs, the Mexican passport, the consular IDs, so, so they can identify this uh, particular fault it is a Mexican national. They reach out to us and then we can reach out to the family and provide services. It's a really broad uh, collaboration, but it's uh, in terms of uh, facilitating uh, processes and interaction with authorities for the Mexican community and also helping them spread the message that don't fear the uniform, they are here to help you. And that was basically uh, the message we've been working uh, with for the past years and the, our main intention with this uh, Hispanic Citizen Police Academy. How big uh, a Mexican uh, presence do you say there is in, in Kansas City? Uh, it's been growing up. I uh, Last figure I checked, I think it's around 10%, and it's been a, a, a huge increase in the last 10 days, uh, ten years, okay. from 2000, from 2010, which is uh, the last uh, information we have. We at the consulate, we cover our Kansas, Missouri, and part of Oklahoma, so we interact with the, the community. Here in Kansas City, we, uh, we have both in Kansas City, Missouri, and Kansas City, Kansas. We are seeing an increase in uh, Mexican population, and we are glad to see that uh, authorities are responding to that. They are they are aware there's an increase. They are aware there are needs from this specific group, and they are responding and taking action to actually be able to uh, serve them better. Yeah. What uh, maybe examples or dreams do you have? Uh, you 
hope that will come out of the, the last two days, two days this week? What kind of differences do you hope maybe that will make for the people that live in the community here from Mexico and around the Spanish speaking countries? Well, I think what we saw uh, this uh, Monday and, and Tuesday was uh, uh, confidence and trust being built. Uh, I, as, as I told you, were just facilitators. I was, I was not participating at the table. I was just looking from behind. And I saw trust being built at the first, probably the first hour there, we had this barrier like, okay, uh, what, what should we expect? Are we, is this really wanna work? Are, uh, what, what do you have us here for? And after that, on the second day, you really saw people uh, convinced that this, that, that the police academy was taking this seriously, that uh, the, the police department was uh, committed to moving forward with this project. And community leaders saw the actual opportunity of uh, expressing their concerns and the main challenges uh, they face on a daily basis. We had victim advocates there that uh, work on a daily basis with uh, victims of domestic violence or of crime that come from the Hispanic community. And uh, they, they didn't hesitate to voice their concerns, but in a really friendly and, and closely tone that acknowledging that this is a, a challenge that we all need to face together. So it was really comforting to see that from, from the outside, from behind when I was, where I was standing, to be a part of that and to know that uh, you could see from all participants and the officers that went there from the police department, there is an actual will and commitment uh, to make this work because there's an actual need there for, uh, for the community we're all trying to serve. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.